Hi everybody, it's Agnes. I've got a question today about the reading I did from Michael Singer's book The Untethered Soul. So for those of you that missed that YouTube, I'll put that link down below so I'd watch that first and then you can watch this. Okay, so Abhilash, you've asked, I just listened to the entire interview, as in the interview that I put down in the description of that YouTube, and it blew my mind. He puts it so beautifully, he being Michael Singer, that you have to accept it little by little and let it go. And yes, can you do a video bridging Singer's ideologies, as in Michael Singer, with Neville Goddard's conscious creation techniques? I love this question. So interesting. So Michael Singer's ideology is that you basically surrender everything. Okay. As soon as it comes up, you let it pass through the uncomfortable feeling, the anger, the annoyance, the feeling hurt. It's like you take an emotional hit and you literally breathe in and let it go straight away. Because if you don't, it gets harder and harder to let it go, whether it's a week later, a month later, or for some of you, you know, years later. Okay. So I read that that day because a lot of you I know are having trouble letting go of what people have done, what people have said, stuff from the past, stuff that your parents have done to you that's affecting your relationships today or is affecting your work today or is affecting your money today, whichever area you're working on. So you've said bridging Michael Singer's ideologies. So Michael Singer's ideology is basically that you don't carry stuff around. You feel the uncomfortability, you feel the hurt, you breathe it in, you breathe it out, you surrender and you let go of it straight away. Okay, now you're going to want to feel, your heart's going to feel like it's wanting to close, it's wanting to shut down, it's wanting to protect, defend and all those things, which is our human instinct. But to be someone who isn't fearful or anxious or stressed out or emotionally disturbed, this is the Michael Singer way of doing it. You do it quickly and you do it in the moment. Okay, so... Now, when we look at Neville Goddard's conscious creation techniques, Neville Goddard believes that imagination creates reality. So it's very much about focusing on living from the end of what you want through imaginal scenes, through just being in the state. Neville talks a lot about the state. So the state is if you're going from feeling um, poor to feeling wealthy and free because I find that's easier to feel free rather than try and feel wealthy if you've never been wealthy feeling the freedom because you would be free if you were wealthy free as in to do what you want when you want okay so bridging these two things it's Neville often says things happen at the appointed time okay so basically if you are holding a state a new state of being you are walking around with the feeling of having what you want, okay? But there comes a point during the day where you have to let go, <clears throat> let go and imagine that it's, this is done. So you basically, you let go of the, not the, the desire, but you let go of, okay, I've done what I can for today. I'm going to drift off into sleep or I'm going to go to work and I'm going to focus and I'm going to be present, okay? So you're, you're really, when you're looking at Michael Singer's surrender and you're looking at Neville Goddard's creating through focus, it's like they're, they're two halves of a nut. You can't just go full tilt in imagination creates reality and you just can't go full tilt into totally surrendering all day. But Michael Singer says you can. I mean, he if you read his book, The Surrender Experiment, he basically surrendered to unbelievable things like things that you and I probably wouldn't surrender to. He actually had, there was a story in that book where a guy, he was, he was very recluse, Michael Singer, living on in a little house on his land, wanting to be totally away from society to do yoga and meditation. And this guy just showed up and, and was standing on his property and 
you know, I'm sure most of us would have said, excuse me, mate, can you pee off? This is my land. But Michael Singer surrendered to it, invited him in, even though he didn't want to. And he said, okay, I'm going to meditate every day. So he had dinner with him, didn't say a lot. And then they went upstairs and meditated together. And that guy basically after that ran away and never came back. <laughs> so he surrendered to it rather than pushing against it. So they don't really bridge together these things as in they they are two halves of a nut. I think both things are extremely important because I see when people use Neville's techniques, imagination creates reality, people try and do it, do it, do it, do it. They mentally exhaust themselves and then they give up. But you need moments of activity as an in internal activity imagining and then you need time to let go and surrender and allow the universe or God, the God of your understanding, to create things. So they really are two things that you need. And the second one, the surrender, seems to be the thing that most people have difficulty with because it's like, okay, give me something to do and then I can manifest what I want. And it's like, well, as you progress along this journey and you go through deeper and deeper levels of understanding, the surrender process, the allowing process, as Abraham Hicks says, is very important in creating because it's like when you water a plant, you water it, but you don't stand hovering over it going, are you there yet? Are you there yet? Are you growing yet? Are you growing yet? You just come back to it and know it's going to sprout. And it's the same with this. You do Neville's imaginal work. Imagination creates reality. You go to bed. You live in the good feeling of enjoying what it is that you desire. And then you carry that state around, the state being, oh, I really love having this. This is lovely. I love thinking about this. This is a blessing, but I'm happy without it anyway. And that's the thing that's really important is being happy without it anyway. Sorry, I got something in my eye. So Michael Singer is the other half of the coin. So it's relaxing, it's letting go, it's letting the plant grow in its own time, okay? So I think both men have got, it's like they've each brought something into the foreground as their most important thing. Imagination creates reality for Neville, surrender for Michael Singer. And if you read his book, The Surrender Experiment, his life is off the Richter scale unbelievable with his surrender technique, what has actually happened to him in his lifetime. So very good question and I hope that makes a little bit of sense because it is fairly two parts of a nut, two parts of a nut, okay? Lots of love and um, I will put down below another Michael Singer YouTube for you to watch because I think he's a very interesting and special human being who does his yoga meditation and centers himself and works on dissolving the stuff within him, which I think, as you know from listening to this channel, that is the most important thing. Everyone's you pushed out, really important. Okay? All right. Lots of love.